your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Well, we had some active weather yesterday down in our southwestern counties. If you want to learn something about severe risk categories, it's right on the main page right now on mywabashvalley.com. Check that out. Good way to educate yourself about those risk categories. There's five of them. Five levels, I should say. Beautiful picture there in the River Post Building's weather cam. As we look northwest, just a few fair weather clouds. Not a bad day at all around the valley. Here's what we're tracking. Seasonal for the most part. Mid to late week rain. Nice weekend next weekend. A little cooler long term, maybe. That's next week. Right now, some sunshine at the airport. It's 85. Humidity's not bad at 48%. We have that north-northwest breeze at 7. Pressure falling a bit. Nice day out there. No rain here since midnight. We were dry around the valley after midnight. I think we're going to end up at 5.6 for the month. Well above the monthly average of 4.38, but still running a deficit here at the studios of about 2 inches. 60s to the north, and we warmed to 70s to the south, so quite a range on low temperatures. Clouds down at the south overnight. Also hot to the south, 90s. Effingham, Vincennes, Vin at uh, Washington, Terre Haute cooled 86, 87 over at Mattoon. The temps right now just starting to cool. Not a bad evening coming up. We may see some upper 50s out there, in fact. Northern and outlying sections. Temperature trend shows a pretty nice start to the week. Not real, real hot weather. A couple of upper 70 days coming, but not too bad. Winds will be out of the north tonight, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Metro view, no issues. If you want to go out tonight, dinner, movie, shopping, you're in good shape. Beautiful evening coming up. We'll be under mostly clear skies this evening and overnight uh, with just a bit of a breeze to help out. Big picture, fairly quiet across the country today. Uh, some blow-up of thunderstorms down here in the southeast. Not uncommon this time of year around here. Hardly a cloud to be found. Have another system moving from upstream northwest working its way southeast. That's not going to get in here at all. In fact, locally on satellite and radar, there's nothing to look at out there. Here's future cast, mostly clear tonight. Tomorrow, another day with abundant amounts of sunshine. Now, Tuesday, this model says we might see a shower storm crop up here or there. I don't think it'll be much in the way of uh, precipitation, though. More like Wednesday. That's when we'll start to see some showers work their way in. And that'll be the case Thursday. Scattered showers with storms mixed in. And that could linger into early Friday. Then we'll take a break just in time for the weekend. So good timing on the rain. Green shading's a cooler air. We get a little bit of a bump up there late week, back into the upper 80s. Somebody might hit the 90 mark, but overall, it's not going to be a bad week on Tim's. And here's the model run that goes out into next week. It shows perhaps a slight cooling trip. Now, for tonight, we're looking pretty good. Mostly clear skies, 60. That's the forecast low for here at the studios. There could be some upper 50s out there in northern and outlying areas. Then tomorrow, as you head back to work, or if you have the day off, beautiful day. Pretty much a repeat of today. Sunny, 85 with a light northeast breeze. And then on the seven-day forecast, good weather Tuesday. Wednesday, take the umbrella. We'll see some showers. In. Probably take a break there by the afternoon hour. Scattered showers and storms around Thursday uh, into Friday morning. Then we're done with that. And after a couple of upper 80 days, we'll dry off as we go into the weekend, get some sunshine. So good stretch of weather just in time for the weekend. Jack's back with sports after this.